Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new, stop right there and click that subscribe button. It would make my day. Today I'm going to be telling you guys some of my unpopular opinions while doing my everyday makeup routine. So if you want to see how I got this look that makes me look just a teensy little bit less ugly, then keep watching. Oh my god, Ronnie. Why Jays? Why Porsche? Why wrist? Why horse? This is Jordan not wearing makeup part 652,000.860. Um, I just have my little handheld mirror here, so I hope that the like I look decent ish. Decent ish. I'm not a beauty guru. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put concealer and then foundation or foundation and then concealer. I use the CoverGirl Clean Matte Liquid Foundation and it's in 505 Ivory. That's the color. And the concealer that I use is Rimmel R R R Rimmel? R Rimmel? I don't know how you say this. Anyways, it's the Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Skin Brightening Concealer. And the shade is 10 ivory as well. Let me just start off by talking about some of my unpopular opinions. And let's start with those Riverdale fans. You know, I know what you're thinking. My gosh, Jordan, if you tell me that you don't like Riverdale, I love Riverdale. I love it, okay? So don't even, d just don't. I love Riverdale so much. So that's not what this is. This is about some of the cast members. So I am a huge Bughead fan, like all the way, all the way back and then all the way again and then back again and then all the way back and yeah. I love Bughead. I live for Bughead. Varchi, on the other hand, I'm not a fan of them. I don't think they should be together. I really just don't like them together at all. I really liked Archie and Miss Grundy. I know, also a really unpopular opinion. But, no, you know who I liked? I liked Archie and what's her face? What's her face? Like the, the pussy cat? Josie? Was it Josie? Val? Honestly, I don't really know why. I think it's because they're both so perfect and then they just come together and they have like a perfect relationship and it's so unrealistic and I love Veronica and I love Archie but together no I don't like them I don't think Veronica should be dating him I think Archie should be dating Val and honestly I haven't found a character yet that I think Veronica would be better suited with I just don't think that it's Archie like I just don't see them together so we all know that Logan Paul is just Well, he's Logan Paul. I do not like him, obviously. He does way too many self-promotions. He does clickbait. He's just not a good person. Like, he's rude. And, like, the Suicide Force thing, like, no thanks. But I do have a slight guilty pleasure of watching Jake Paul videos. I don't really know why. Because he's just as annoying as Logan. But he's not as mean and his content isn't as stupid. Wow, that's nice to hear. Your content just isn't as stupid as your brother's. It's not like I'm a big fan. I just like don't mind watching his videos and when I'm bored, I'll watch some of them and I think that Jerrica is hashtag goals. So I started watching Stranger Things. I finished season one and I'm on season two. Well, I'm on like season two, episode two and I just can't. Like, it's boring. Like, season two is boring. I Don't get me wrong, I liked season one. It was good. But it wasn't that great. Like, honestly, they could have just made it one season. Because the first season ended pretty good. I mean, besides disappearing. Also, like, there's a season three? Like, how? If Haters Back Off can't get a season three, then why the heck should Stranger Things? 
I swear I'm not sponsored, but CoverGirl, if you want to sponsor me, this is the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer, and yeah, so it's, I really like it, it's really good. I have no idea what I'm doing, yet again. This unpopular opinion of mine is really unpopular, and it is that I don't think Beyonce is that great. I can hear you all yelling at me. I know. She's just not that great. Like, okay, she's pretty, but she's not, like, everything, and she's not, like, perfect like everyone says. Like, I just don't get it. And, like, for the amount of fans that she has, she doesn't really seem to be somebody who interacts with her fans, which I really hate when celebrities don't do that. It's, like, the reason that you're famous is because of your fans, and yet you're just ignoring them. Like, to me, that's not a good role model. So I just don't think that she's that amazing, like she doesn't even connect with her fans. And I know that she has a lot of fans, so obviously it's going to be hard to connect with all of them. But like, at least you can try, right? Okay, now I'm going in, oh wait, it's not CoverGirl this time, yes. This is the MAC um, Soft and Gentle Highlighter, and it's really good, so... I just like, and I don't even know, put this on my cheeks, I guess. I kind of do it under my eyes, too, which is probably not right, but... I just don't want my cheekbone. I'm not going to set my makeup right now just because, like I said, it's late at night and I'm going to just take this off after I film this video. But I do use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray um, from Sephora. It's really good, so... I'm very reluctant to put on mascara because I'm literally taking it off the second I turn off this camera. But I'm going to do it just a little bit um, to show you guys what kind of mascara I use and such. Just curling my lashes. I know it looks like I'm like in some death trap. By the way, I'm using their Real Benefit Mascara. I'm obsessed with this mascara. Like It's literally so good. So again, I'm just doing a little bit because obviously I'm going to be taking off this makeup in like five minutes. I also sometimes just like to do my bottom lashes with the Butterfly Mascara from... It's either L'Oreal or Rimmel. I think it's L'Oreal. So this is my everyday makeup routine. I literally like don't do anything. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I probably did this all wrong. James Charles is shaking in a bad way. But this is how I look. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and as always, subscribe. As well as turn on the bell notification because YouTube has this thing now where it doesn't always necessarily tell you when I upload a video unless you click that button. So you should definitely do that so that you don't miss another random video like this one.